Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the majestic Royal Albert Hall for the EE British Academy Film Awards. Join us now as we meet some of the most celebrated stars in cinema. Welcome to the Bathurst. It's just a lovely place to be and to be able to show up and just say thank you to people. The funnest moments, this red carpet and seeing all the fans and everybody's arriving all looking dapper. My mum is hugely excited and my stepdad, they're together, so it's a really special evening for me. And tonight, we're in the presence of royalty. Very exciting, overwhelming, cold. You know, all the best adjectives. <laughs> It's insane. It's like you go from like doing your normal life and then you're like, oh my god, people are nuts. Oh, I'm so excited. It's my first time at the Baptist. It's yeah. such an honor. It's always so wonderful and strange. Well, I don't know if they are fans, but it's, it's good to have a crowd, yeah. I just think um, that's a sign of madness such a huge honour and uh, achievement to be here and considered with such talent. But who will be taking home a beloved BAFTA mark? We're about to find out. I'm just so excited to be here. I've got my whole family. It's time for the British Academy Film Awards. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome Cirque du Soleil and the cast of Amaluna.
Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Cirque du Soleil, ladies and gentlemen. Aren't we... Oh. I can't tell you how long we had to rehearse that. <laughs> Dance is my life. <laughs> I haven't been surrounded by so many thrillingly lithe and muscular bodies since, since last night. So, <laughs> the warmest of welcomes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to the magnificent Royal Albert Hall for the EE British Academy Film Awards and what fantastic beasts we have found for our annual celebration of all that is wonderful in the world of filmed entertainment. So wonderful, in fact, that we juiced it down to a very healthy two minutes for you to watch. As my dear grandmother used to say, cop a load of this, bitches. Could you give me a push, please? A push? Mm. Maybe I'm foolish, maybe I'm blind. And I can see through this and see what's behind Got no way to prove it, so maybe I'm lying But I'm only human after all I'm only human You gotta get the case full of monsters, huh? You tell us, Flash. This is the captain. Brace for impact. year in film. Now, we are delighted that their Royal Highnesses, uh, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, are here for this very special evening. In fact, we're particularly pleased that the Duchess is here, as she will be such a support to her husband, who, after watching a recent episode of Who Do You Think You Are, is still recovering from the devastating news that he's related to Danny Dyer. <laughs> now, I, I look down on row after row of the most overrated people on the planet <laughs> in their beautiful borrowed evening wear. And by the fo force of her sheer magnetism, I'm instantly attracted to Emma Stone, star of one of the nominated films, La La Land. It was a quite brilliant performance, singing, dancing, and most astonishingly of all, pretending to like jazz. <laughs> now, also here is Master filmmaker Ken Loach. Uh, <laughs> Ken Loach could have been influenced by La La Land to capture the glitz, glamour and fun, fun, fun of the British social welfare benefit system <laughs> in his film I, Daniel Blake, but instead he chose to go another way and produced a passionate masterpiece of realism, wrath and outrage. We're pleased to welcome him and two of the film's magnificent stars here, the wonderful Hayley Squires, and Dave Johns. And the arrival of Arrival made us all wonder if we could ever find a rival to rival a rival's arrival. And here is its star, Amy Adams, of course. Uh, also in the stunning nocturnal animals. Uh, in Arrival, Amy plays a linguist employed to decipher unintelligible utterings that make no apparent sense. So she'll be standing by in the wings all evening to help us out as winners leap to their awards and accept them. 
in their usual way. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we applied to the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea for planning permission to seat two huge stars next to each other, and they gave it to us. And here they are, fresh from their triumph in the ear-shattering wonder of Florence Foster Jenkins, the greatest grant since Eddie, Carey, and student Hugh Grant, and unquestionably one of the greatest actresses of all time, only a blithering idiot would think otherwise, Meryl Streep. Now, um, Miss Streep, uh, I want to call you Dame Merrill because if you were British, you would have been damed five times over, I promise you. Um, it's tradition here for me to garner a kiss from one of the nominees every year, it happens, and I wonder, whoa, she doesn't take any. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So oh, bless you. You know what? I would, oh. Wow. Never in the field of human conflict has my left cheek been so jealous of my right. <laughs> I would say underrated, to be honest. Now, it's time to howl in appreciation of the masterful Moonlight and its luminescent star, Naomi Harris. It's a magnificent piece of work. This brutal yet tender gem of a film left me strangely unsettled. I couldn't quite put my finger on why. I didn't know whether to blame it on the moonlight, blame it on the good times, or blame it on the boogie. So I ended up settling on the boogie. And show my atheism the door, there must be a god, because my radar has picked up the wonderful stars of Manchester by the Sea, Michelle Williams and Casey Affleck. <laughs> Casey Affleck is, without doubt, one of the most brilliant actors in his family. And flay my undercarriage and grill my innards if it isn't the breathtaking star of Girl on the Train, Emily Blunt. <laughs> what a performance. What a film. Uh, some incredible, unbelievable scenes, particularly for commuters in southern England who've never seen a moving train. <laughs> and look, Andrew Garfield is here. Andrew, <laughs> welcome. What a year you've had. He stars, of course, in the phenomenal Hacksaw Ridge, the astonishing true story of a conscientious objector who saved countless lives in World War II without once picking up a weapon. It's received unanimously rave reviews, with one notable exception. America's National Rifle Association didn't like it one bit. <laughs> but we've reached now, having mentioned all five of the movies which are nominated for Best Film, the, we've reached the legal limit of sycophantic Fawning. So let's crack on with the awards themselves and find out who the Russians have decided has won. <laughs> um, first, first award goes to not average British film, not meh British film, but outstanding British film. It's in honour of the legendary producer Alexander Korda. And to present it, the radiant and dazzling stars of the wonderful lion, the true story of a young boy who gets lost in India, finds his way to Australia, yet has a constant yearning for his mother, what we in England call a gap year. <laughs> so please welcome the Lion King and Lion Queen, Dev Patel and Nicole Kidman. Good evening. Dev and I are so excited to be here in the Royal Albert Hall for the first time to present the first BAFTA of the evening. Yep. Uh, to kick things off, we're here to honour this year's outstanding British films. Let's take a look. I, Daniel Blake. Oh, I've created this. No, mate, I've created this. If I was going to create this, you know about it. You need to leave the bill. I'm sorry, you're okay, going to leave the bill. This is ridiculous. Jesus what Christ. What am I supposed to do? Who's first in this queue? I am. Do you mind if this young lass on. signs on first? No, no, you carry on. There you go. Now you can go back to your desk and let her sign on and do the job that the taxpayer pays you for. American Honey. I can remember a face like that. What's your name? Destiny. Destiny? I'm Jake. How are you? Destiny. Nice to meet you. This is my younger sister, Star. 
Uh, you want my mom? No, but can you do me a favor? Do one favor. Can you feel this material? Just feel it. What does that material feel like to you? I don't know about that. You know what kind of material it is? Mm -mm. That's boyfriend material. You know what I'm saying? Denial. I'm not a Holocaust historian. I'm a, I'm a Hitler historian. Then why don't you keep your mouth shut about the Holocaust? The truth is, as usual, Mr. Irving, you jump in off the board spouting whatever rubbish comes into your head in order to avoid the obvious conclusion. This is not because you're a rotten historian. It's because you're a bent one as well. Notes on blindness. You are related to a world. You are addressed by a world. Why should this experience strike one as being beautiful? Under the shadow. بهتر من بزن میتونی اگه اینا یه چیز شخصی یه چیزی که یه نفر خیلی دوستش داره رو وردارن دیگه از شرشون در امان نیستی نشونت کردن هر جا بری میان دوبالت Fantastic beasts and where to find them His neck's bleeding He's hurt Oh, wake up Mr. Nomad Mercy, Lewis, what is that? Nothing to worry about That is about that. What else have you got in there? And the BAFTA goes to... Oh, I, Daniel Blake. This is extraordinary. Um, a huge thank you to the Academy um, and from all of us, from all who made the film, starting with Paul and Rebecca who wrote the script and produced, to, uh, to acted and those who made it and to the people in Newcastle and to the distributors E1. And thank you to the Academy for endorsing the truth of what the film says, which hundreds of thousands of people in this country know and that is that the most vulnerable and the poorest people are treated by this government with a callous brutality that is disgraceful. And it's, 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 a, it's a brutality that extends to keeping out refugee children that we promised to help. And that's a disgrace too. But, but films, Films can do many things. They can, they can entertain, they can terrify, they can take us to worlds of the imagination, they can make us laugh, and they can tell us something about the real world we live in. And in that real world, it's a bit early for political speech, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but but in, that, in that real world, it's getting darker, as we know. And in the struggle that's coming between the rich and the powerful, the wealth and the privileged, and the big corporations and the politicians who speak for them on the one hand and the rest of us on the other, then filmmakers, and we're all filmmakers here, the filmmakers know which side they're on. And despite the glitz and the glamour of occasions like this, we're with the people. Thanks for this. Well, well. Now the next award is for E.E. E. Rising Star and is given in honour, yes, is given in honour of the legendary casting director Mary Selway. It has the unique distinction of its name and the fact that it is the only award voted for by the public. 
though the way things have been going lately, I'm not sure that I... Well, anyway, I'm going to... Um, to present it, a beguilingly brilliant and powerful actress, so wonderful in the extraordinary fences that I'm considering having one built round her and declaring her a public monument. Please welcome Viola Davis. <laughs> It's great to be presenting the Rising Star Award. Looking out into the audience, I can see many former nominees of this wonderful accolade, people whose stars most definitely have risen and whose glow we can all now thankfully bask in. And that they have all gone on to such wonderful things is a testament to these special awards for recognizing, encouraging, and nurturing talent so early on in their careers something I know each of those nominated tonight will be incredibly grateful for. Let's take a look. Now you're gonna come along peacefully, or not. Lucas Hedges. Why can't you help me out a little bit for once instead of dragging me to the lawyers in a funeral pile in the morgue? We're looking for you. Why? Well, because you're a fugitive. One second, we just gotta, I just gotta log off. Boom! Anya Taylor Joy. Hello, hello, my name is Casey Cook. I'm being held in a basement. I've been abducted with two other girls. I'll be the witch of the wood. Liar, liar. I am. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna break the rules. I'm gonna break the rules. <laughs> Laya Costa. Stay. Stay. Look, sir! The car is not going on! The car is not fucking going on! Come on! What? What are you doing? Hey, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Peter. Tom Holland. This is a word. If another wave catches us down here, we will die. We have to climb that tree right now. You have a metal arm? That is awesome, dude. Stop this. I don't know what you're saying. Ruth Negger. I think it's all right. We may lose the small battles, but win the big war. And the BAFTA Rising Star Award goes to Tom Holland. <laughs> Wow, wow, um, it's amazing to be up here. Uh, two thank yous right off the bat. BAFTA, thank you for nominating me, and obviously thank you to the British public for voting and showing your support. It's tough voting online. Believe me, I know. <laughs> um, I obviously have a large list of people I need to thank, but don't worry, I won't do that here on your time. But please just give me a moment to thank two people. Sorry, mum and dad, it's not you. Uh, it's not an actor, a director, a producer, or, um, or an agent, because, you know, we guys, we get thanked all the time, and we get paid pretty well, too. <laughs> but I want to thank two acting coaches, because I think that this is a profession that is not praised enough, because we actors don't like to admit that we need help sometimes. Um, so to Nick Evans and to Ben Perkins, Nick, you helped me become the best Billy Elliot that I could be, um, and Ben, you coached me to be Lucas in The Impossible. Now, without these two roles, I wouldn't be standing here holding this. So, Ben and Nick, thank you so much. And everyone else, check your phones, I'll shoot you a text. And Nick, unlucky on the rugby, mate. Thank you.
To present the award for adapted screenplay, a pair of adored actors who met when they both appeared in The Devil Wears Prada and became not just friends, but relatives when she introduced him to her older sister, who ended up marrying him. It really is quite the exclusive dating service. Please welcome the indescribably incredible in-laws, Stanley Tucci and Emily Blunt. It's lovely to be here to present the award for adapted screenplay. I can't believe you slept with my wife. Oh my God, for the last time, we shared a bedroom. We were children growing up together. Okay. Anyway, let's see the nominations. <laughs> Nocturnal Animals, Tom Ford. Yes, I love you. Oh, when you love someone, you work it out. You don't just throw it away. You have to be careful with it. You might never get it again. I can't do this with you anymore, Edward. I just can't keep doing this. Susan. Hidden Figures, Theodore Melfi, Alison Troder. We're orbiting the Earth at what speed now? Seventeen thousand five hundred forty-four miles per hour. At the time the rocket delivers the capsule into low space orbit. Well, that's one hell of a speed ticket. <laughs> Lion, Luke Davies. It wasn't a day I didn't want to tell you. I really hope she's dead. She needs to see how beautiful you are. No, Hacksaw Ridge, Andrew Knight, Robert Schenken. I was, I was told I don't have to carry a weapon. Come again, step forward, Private. I can't be here in this right. Well, I'm sorry, Sergeant. I can't touch a gun. Arrival. Eric Heiserer. There are a lot of ways you can interpret what he said. I don't need an interpreter to know what this means. Russia just executed one of their own experts to keep their secrets. Many become one could just be their way of saying some assembly required. Why? Hand it out to us in pieces. Why not just give it all over? What better way to force us to work together for once? And the BAFTA goes to Luke Davies for Lion. Uh, thanks to the Academy and the voters, um, a few quick thanks. I guess I'll start at the beginning with our producers, Ian Canning, Emil Sherman, Angie Fielder, and Harvey Weinstein, who championed this film all the way through, including the championing of its unusual structure. Speaking of that structure, to the incredible Sonny Pawar, a five-year-old non-professional actor, A five-year-old non-professional actor who carries this entire film for its first half and is a discovery for the ages. Uh, and to Dev Patel, a professional actor who uh, then takes the film and makes it his own for the second half. Um, to all of our other cast and crew, Nicole Kidman, uh, David Wenham, Rooney Mara, Priyanka Bose, Vivian Landois for uh, making the film glow so much. And finally, most importantly of all, this is for Garth Davis, our beloved director, who, whatever the merits of my screenplay, it's Garth who took the screenplay and turned it into the beautiful film about love and inclusivity that it is. And uh, for you, Garth, thank you for doing that. Thanks very much.
Well, we must now immediately trigger Article 50 so we can leave the last award and get on with the next, which is for supporting actress. And who better to present it than the actor who gets all the parts that Vin Diesel and Dwayne Johnson turned down? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Hugh Grant. So kind. Um, my school, my school was all boys, and um, when it came to drama, theatre, I played uh, almost exclusively female parts. Yeah. I should say female roles. That would sound better. Uh, I played almost exclusively female roles, and that's why uh, I've always felt a great solidarity with actresses because basically I was one for quite a long time. <laughs> and it's a great honor tonight to be uh, revealing the nominees in the category of Best Supporting Actress. Here they are. Viola Davis, Fences. It's not easy for me to admit that I've been standing in the same place for 18 years. Well, I've been standing with you. I've been right here with you, Troy. I got a life too. I gave 18 years of my life to stand in the same spot as you. Don't you think I ever wanted other things? Don't you think I had dreams and hopes? What about my life? What about me? Michelle Williams, Manchester by the Sea. Maybe you don't want to talk to me. It's not that. Let me, let me finish. Not... However, my heart was broken. It's always going to be broken. And I know yours is broken, too. Naomi Harris, Moonlight. I need some money. For what? That's my business. Don't you ask me no shit like that. What will happen? No, don't, don't lie to me, boy. I'm your mama. That bitch over there ain't no kin of you. I'm your blood, remember? Now, I ain't feeling good. I need something to help me out. Come on, baby. Haley Squires, I, Daniel Blake. I've got 300 quid in my pocket. I can buy the kids fresh fruit. If you can't deal with it, I can't see you anymore. Because I've got to go back inside. Do you understand? I don't want to speak to you anymore. Don't show me any more love. Nicole Kidman, Lion. Till you've come a long way. Mm -hmm. Little one. I'm sure it hasn't been easy. And one day you'll tell me all about it. You'll tell me everything, who you are, everything. I'll always listen. And the winner is Viola Davis for Fencil. Oh my God, thank you so much. Um, and to all the other wonderful nominees, Naomi, Haley, Nicole, oh, who am I forgetting? Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. Um, and Michelle. Um, August Wilson. Uh, you know, my father was uh, groomed horses at the racetrack, and he had a fifth grade education, and he was a janitor towards the end of his life when he died of cancer at a McDonald's. 
And the reason why I say that is when he took his last breath, one of the most devastating things that went through my mind is, did his life matter? And August answers that question so brilliantly because what he did is he said that our lives mattered as African Americans. The horse groomer, the sanitation worker, the people who grew up under the heavy boot of Jim Crow. The people who did not make it into history books, but they're, they have a story, and those stories deserve to be told because they lived. Oh, and so, thank you, August. Thank you, Denzel Washington, for <laughs> honoring actors and not the sky, not the leaf, because sometimes, you know, we're sacrificed for a great cinematic vision, which is not bad, but it's nice to be the center and the focus as an actor. And to Michael T. Williams, Williamson, Stephen McKinley Henderson, Giovanna Depo, and uh, Russell Hornsby, Sanaya Sidney, all the wonderful, you know, actors, and Paramount, Macro, Braun, Scott Rudin, Molly, Alan, Todd Black, to my beautiful husband, Julius, of 13 years, and my daughter, Genesis, who every time I tell her a story at night, she says the most important phrase, which is, Mommy, please put me in the story. And I do. Thank you. We now come to animated film. Buzz Lightyear, Kung Fu Panda, and Lightning McQueen couldn't be here tonight. Instead, to make the presentation, a couple of searingly hot actors. She was genetically engineered to be superb in Jurassic World, which, call me pedantic, erroneously included dinosaurs from many other Paleolithic eras. Whilst he was an imperious, imperial pilot in peril in Rogue One, please welcome Bryce Dallas Howard and Rhys Ahmed. Now, the real gift of animated film is that they have absolutely no boundaries to creativity. Whatever the writer or director can dream up, the hugely talented animators can deliver. And this creates an environment where the, where the imagination can run wild. And I don't trust cartoons because nothing's real. <laughs> oh, here are the nominations. Finding Dory. Exactly. How are you going to find your parents? Do you remember what they looked like? I'm a bit new to the memory thing, so I can't say for sure, but something tells me they were mostly blue with maybe yellow. That sounds right. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm going to know them when I see them. We're family. If Moana. Zootropolis. So no matter what type of animal you are, from the biggest elephant to our first fox, I implore you, try. Try to make the world a better place. Kubo and the Two Strings. Just tell me of our quest, and I will quickly demonstrate my numerous indispensabilities. Well, that's kind of a long story. You've got my attention. I promise I won't even blink. I actually don't think I even can blink. Do I have eyelids? And the BAFTA is awarded to... Oh, there we go. Kubo, Kubo and, and the, the Two, two Strings. strings.
Uh, <laughs> wow, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I did not see this coming. Um, you know, this film was a wholehearted labor of love over five years in the making, and over the course of it, we tried to get to a distillation of childhood. And as we were making it, I came across this terrific quote by the great filmmaker uh, Zhang Yimou, who said that every boy wants uh, either a train set or to make a martial arts movie. Uh, and I never had a train set, so I made a martial arts movie. But hopefully one that showcases the power of family and imagination and love, and above all else, empathy. Because I believe that Hal David and Burt Bacharach were right when they said that what the world needs now is love, sweet love. But there's another thing there's just too little of, and that's empathy, and that's ultimately what this film is about. And so that's why this, this award means so much to me and to our entire crew. Uh, I want to give a special thanks to the Academy for honoring us, to Focus Features and Universal for having our back every step of the way, uh, to my extraordinary producer, Ariane Sutner, I absolutely adore you, I love you, uh, and to our entire cast and crew led by Art Parkinson, you are the best. This film really was uh, about families, so to our families and our loved ones, I love you. To mom, dad, Donna Ridley, Will O'Merrick, I love you. My world, my partner in crime, my dream team, I love all of you. And tonight with this exquisite shiny metal cudgel in hand, I'm pretty fond of all of you guys too, so thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Well, on we trot now to special visual effects. And to present it, I've issued an executive order for two outstanding actors who, having appeared in Star Wars, The Force Awakens, and The Hobbit, respectively, will both have spent plenty of time working with various peculiar, hairy little creatures, the visual effects technicians. Please welcome the English Rose, that is Daisy Ridley, and the Welsh Leek, that is Luke Evans. For me, the true magic of special visual effects is creating something that simply couldn't be conjured up in any other way. Well, that's funny, Daisy, because I think we might need to do some conjuring up of our own because I've forgotten the envelope. Luckily enough, I can sort that. I've got something super special, very visual, and hopefully Ooh. extremely effective. Ah. Oh, thank you very much. Not bad. <laughs> Upstaged much? Uh, OK, let's have a look at the nominees. Fantastic beasts and where to find them. Arrival. Doctor Strange. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. The Jungle Book. The BAFTA goes to... The Jungle Book. Thank you so much to the British Academy and uh, the UK in general for uh, allowing us in the country. We really appreciate that. Uh, also, I guess I have to thank the UK for uh, Kipling. Pretty good story we got to work from. And if I can introduce our uh, the people probably most responsible for the caliber and quality of the film besides John Favreau, uh, Alan Horn, and Disney are these three geniuses behind me. Thank you, Rob. 
Thanks. We wanted to just say thanks to BAFTA for recognizing the over 800 artists at MPC Film in London who worked on the film. Every blade of grass and tuft of hair and performance you see was made by artisans. So this is for you guys. Cheers. I just want to thank my, uh, my team back at Weta Digital in New Zealand. Uh, very talented, and without them, we couldn't be here today. And lastly, I'd just like to thank all the fa fathers, mothers, um, spouses, and families of all the artists. Um, without your love and support, we couldn't do what we do. Thank you very much. Now, much like one of our Trident missiles, I'm going to veer a little off course now <laughs> to celebrate a very important birthday. I'm certain that due to the odd nip here and tuck there and a blat blatant bottom lift, you'll be astonished to learn that BAFTA is 70 years old this year. This world-leading arts educational charity produces literally hundreds of events and a truly awe-inspiring range of activities and scholarships to ensure that talented people regardless of their background, are identified and encouraged from the very beginning of their careers. And how wonderful it is to see so many beneficiaries of their work here this evening. And if you at home feel inspired by tonight's awards come 70th birthday bash, please pay a visit to the BAFTA website. And no birthday, of course, is complete without a chorus of happy birthday. So, as our President, Your Royal Highness, if you'll lead us in a rousing solo rendition... <laughs> oh, I'm just told there isn't time, I'm so sorry. Oh, our loss. Moving on, the next award is given in honour of Carl Foreman. It's the outstanding debut by a British writer, director or producer. And to present it, a brace of brilliance. One is the star of the S&M classic Fifty Shades of Grey, while the other was wonderful in the S&A classic Swallows and Amazons. Please applaud by spanking yourself and your neighbour violently for Jamie Dornan and Rafe Spall. Thank you. Thanks. It's such an honour to be here to present the BAFTA for Outstanding Debut. I think that everyone in this room can identify with how hard it is trying to get your first break. I mean, take Jamie, he came up the hard way. People just don't want to give extraordinarily good looking people opportunities in this industry. Yeah, but you know, look at Rafe here, you know, his father is one of the most respected actors of his generation, so it was very hard for him to get seen for anything. Nightmare. Like couldn't, <laughs> couldn't get in the room. Let's have a look at the nominations. Mike Carey, Camille Gatton, the girl with all the gifts. I don't want to be a hungry. But that's what you are. With a human race under threat from a mutant fungus that turns people into zombies, the girl with all the gifts is the story of a special young girl called Melanie, who may hold the key to humanity's survival in this original take on the zombie genre. John Donnelly, Ben A. Williams, The Pass. <laughs> the Pass follows professional footballer Jason, who begins to struggle with his sexuality after kissing teammate Ade. As Jason's fame grows, so does his torment, as he's torn apart by a secret he just cannot shake. I don't know what to do. George Amponsa, Dion Walker, The Hard Stop. In an intimate documentary about the police killing of Mark Duggan that sparked riots across the UK in 2011, The Hard Stop features two of Duggan's closest friends as they come to terms with their loss and try to move on with their lives. Like where they say that they don't mind, they don't discriminate against you if you've been to prison and that's all bollocks, but they do. Babak Anvari, Emily Leo, Oliver Roskill, Luke and Toe, under the shadow. Set against the backdrop of war-torn Tehran in the 1980s, Under the Shadow focuses on a mother and daughter, haunted by the presence of something supernatural, in this gripping and original thriller. Peter Middleton, James Spinney, Jojo Ellison, Notes on Blindness. Featuring original audio tape recordings by Professor John Hull, who became blind at the age of 48, Notes on Blindness captures the fears and emotions of losing one's sight in a beautiful and inspiring documentary film. And I thought, that's it. It's a gift. 
And the BAFTA goes to... Under the Shadow, Baba Kanvari, Emily Leo, Oliver Roskill, Luke and Toe. <laughs> Uh, wow, uh, whew, breathing now. Um, um, this is such an honor, it's magnificent. Um, it, it's, um, it's a great honor to be in such an auspicious ca category, uh, you know, with all the great talented um, uh, uh, debut filmmakers. Uh, and um, uh, sorry, I'm, I know we don't have much time, uh, so on behalf of my producers um, and I, uh, we'd like to thank, so I did make, write a little speech just not to mess up. <laughs> um, uh, uh, we would like to uh, thank um, our brilliant uh, cast members, uh, especially our, our uh, leads, Nagas Rashidi, Ovin Manshadi, our great crew, both here in the UK and in Jordan, uh, the uh, Royal uh, Film Commission of Jordan, Doha Film Institute, and everyone, everyone who helped us uh, uh, bring this film to life. And, uh, I would personally like to thank my amazing producers at uh, Wigwam Films uh, for uh, taking a risk on this strange Farsi language film, and uh, my great uh, cinematographer and great friend, uh, Kit Fraser, who's on board, in this pro uh, on board this project from day one, had my back, uh, my family, Mom and Baba, my brother, uh, Kirash, and uh, uh, my, my wonderful, wonderful girlfriend, Rhiannon, for her non-stop love and support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now, to dish out the award for Supporting Actor, an astonishing actress who was quite magnificent as Jin Erso in, yeah, my autocue was trying to tell me that it was in Star Wars Rouge One. Um, <laughs> the phenomenal Felicity Jones. Good evening, everyone. The performances of the five nominated supporting actors are nothing short of sensational. Let's take a look at some of their incredible work. Mahershala Ali, Moonlight. Come here. Let your head rest in my hand. Relax. I got you, I promise. I'm not gonna let you go. Hey, man, I got you. Dev Patel, Lion. Saru, you need to face reality. What do you mean, reality? Do you have any idea what it's like knowing my real brother and mother spend every day of their lives looking for me? Huh? How every day my real brother screams my name. Hugh Grant, Florence Foster Jenkins. Shut your eyes, I'm sorry. Bright star. <laughs> Would I were steadfast as thou art. <laughs> Not in lone splendor, hung aloft the night, and watching with eternal lids apart, like nature's patience. I think I'll read. Jeff Bridges. Hell or high water. You know what, Alberto? What? In a year's time, it's my teasing that you're gonna miss. So what you'll laugh about when you stand over my grave and wish me well. God, I hope that's tomorrow. Oh, that was a good one. You'll get the hang of this yet. Aaron Taylor Johnson, Nocturnal Animals. Okay, so let, let's exchange information. Information? Yeah. Let's exchange yeah. information. Right. Yeah, the look of ours. Okay, I'm a Gemini. My favorite color is petal pink. I like long walks and kittens. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and the BAFTA goes to Dev Patel, the lion. That just happened. Uh, words, words, words. Um, oh my God, this is so overwhelming. You know, I, I sit at home and watch this with my family who are here with me tonight, and um, it's just such an overwhelming feeling. Uh, Mum, Dad, Gomo, I love you guys so much. This is a film about family, uh, about a love that transcends borders, race, you know, color, anything, and. Um, you guys are my driving force. And um, I'd like to thank little Sonny Pawar, you know, who led this film with such confidence. He truly is a star. Garth Davis, um, our incredible director, who's going to be a friend of mine for life. Ian Canning, Emile Sherman, Luke Davies, Harvey Weinstein, Christine and Cara, and to my amazing team who had the insane task of trying to get this Indian dude, this noodle with wonky teeth and a, a lazy eye and floppy hair work in this really hard industry. To you guys, you're my heroes. Um, to Stephanie Coma, Stephanie Ritz, Brandon Liebman, Sarah and Grace, um, Christine and Cara. I don't know what to say except for I'm so grateful. I'm terrible at this. Thank you so much. It means so much. Thank you. Ooh. Well, I want to thank, of course, the um, BAFTA judges, the uh, independent judges. And if you didn't win, um, I'm sure you will take it with grace and honor um, and not reject the result of an independent judiciary um, <laughs> or try and buy another judge to give you a different version. You'll take it with grace and decency. There are plenty more awards still to come this evening, including leading actor, actress, director, and film, as well as a very special fellowship. But now, Ladies and gentlemen, you won't need me to remind you what a 12 months of loss we have endured. We now remember and cherish the many friends and colleagues whose lives may be over, but whose legacies will live on for as long as our love of film. And to play for us, we're very proud and pleased to have last year's BBC young musician, Sheku Kane Mason. Goldfinger, thank you for the demonstration. I'm an actress what? on the stage. Oh, on the stage.
tight again. Thank you so much to the hugely talented Sheku for that wonderful rendition of Hallelujah, of course, by the sorely missed Leonard Cohen. I can't help feeling that the best of us have gone. But the people you love, Robert Montgomery said, the people you love become ghosts inside you. And like this, you keep them alive. It's now time for the outstanding British Contribution to Cinema Award, given in honor of the great British producer, Michael Balkan. And to make the presentation, a French actress, Très Magnifique, who has appeared in over 100 films, including The Lace Maker, La Ceremonie, and most recently, she gave a shatteringly brilliant performance in Elle. Mesdames et Messieurs, bienvenue, Isabelle Huppert. Good evening. Can I just say, after receiving a BAFTA for most promising newcomer in 1978, I really had no idea I'd be back so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm incredibly delighted and honored to be able to present this outstanding British Contribution Award to an organization so very close to my heart. As a champion of independent cinema, Curzon hold a unique place, not only in our industry, but in our affections, not least my own, having been lucky enough to have appeared in six films under their banner. I know firsthand just how special and important this company is constantly devoted to foreign films and building bridges between countries. Today, we need that more than ever. We will always need the United Kingdom, whatever happens. Time now to take a look Time now to take a look at just some of the highlights from that wonderful contribution they have made to independent cinema. In 1934, the first Curzon Cinema opened its doors in Mayfair, becoming world-renowned for bringing foreign language films to a London audience. Today, there are 13 Curzon theatres across the UK, but they're much more than just a cinema chain. In 2006, distribution label Artificial Eye became part of Curzon, and now the group has more than 400 films in its collection, furthering their commitment to independent cinema and collecting an impressive 16 BAFTA awards along the way. Julianne Moore taking the 2015 Best Actress Award for the moving Still Alice. I've been seeing a neurologist. You've been seeing the neurologist, why? They think that it might be early onset Alzheimer's disease. In 2010, Curzon launched a home cinema service, bringing its catalogue of world independent and art house films to a wider audience. 
and offering its 7.5 million customers the chance to enjoy brand new films from home, often on the same day as their theatrical release, including the critically acclaimed British drama 45 Years. You really believe you haven't been enough for me? No, I think I was enough for you. I'm just not sure you do. The Curzon Group is admired and cherished for their unique heritage and pioneering approach to the distribution and exhibition of film. We will help a folk a And with a firm focus on the future, this iconic brand continues to blaze a trail for world cinema. And so to receive the award, please welcome Curzon CEO, Philip Najbul. I'll try to keep this short, unlike some of the films we show. What an amazing privilege to be standing here, following in the footsteps of so many giants of the film world. This award is for every single person who works at Curzon, from those who sell the cinema tickets to the wonderful team that buy our films. All 280 of us are winners tonight. We are immensely proud and grateful to have a BAFTA now of our own. It means more to us than you will ever know. We love what we do, but it's the directors that make us who we are. And you just saw a few of their films now, from Charlie Chaplin to Michael Haneke and everyone in between. Our goal is to get their incredible films seen. I want to thank all the filmmakers who have entrusted us with their work. They are the reason why we're so passionate about what we do. I will briefly mention three people without whom we wouldn't be here. Roger Wingate, who has been chairman of Curzon for 50 of its 80-year history. Louisa Dent, who ensures the quality of our films never wavers. And Tony Tabatsnik, who has been an incredible supporter of Curzon's recent expansion. We celebrate our common humanity through the power of storytelling. I believe many of our films have contributed to that. But all of us at Curzon are concerned about the future. Change in life is inevitable. But if, after Brexit, the essential EU support we receive either stops or is not replaced, then the risks we are able to take with films that exist outside of the mainstream will become much harder and all our lives will be the poorer for it. But whatever the outcome of Brexit, you can rest assured that we will continue to seek out challenging new films with bold, diverse, and authentic voices, striving to find new ways of engaging with audiences and screening unforgettable films in great new cinemas and on brilliant new digital devices. And finally, and I know she's going to kill me for this, I want to thank my wife, Wendy. You have been my rock, and it's only your love and patience that has allowed me somewhat obsessively to indulge my passion for Curzon. So thank you, darling. And from all of us at Curzon, thank you, BAFTA. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for supporting so so. Now, the BAFTA for original screenplay has elbowed its way to the front of the queue, and waiting there for it, an actress soon to be seen in American Express, like Amex, She's gold and she's black. Please raise the roof of the Albert Hall, but then replace it as it is a listed building and welcome Tandy Newton. Thank you. Oh, it's a privilege to be presenting this award tonight. Paul Schrader said, a screenplay is not in itself a work of art. It's an invitation to collaborate on the creation of a work of art. 
Tonight's five nominees issued that invitation, and the results are extraordinary. Let's take a look at the fruits of their labor. La La Land, Damien Chazelle. All right, I remember you. And I'll admit I was a little curt that night. Curt? Okay, I was an asshole. I can admit that. Okay. But requesting Iran from a serious musician is just, it's too far. My lord, did you just say a serious musician? I don't think so. Can I borrow what you're wearing? Why? Because I have an audition next week. I'm playing a serious firefighter. Manchester by the Sea, Kenneth Lonergan. What's in Boston, you janitor? So what? You can do that anywhere. There's plenty of toilets and clogged up drains all over town. I don't want to All talk my friends are here. I'm on the hockey team. I'm on the basketball team. I got to maintain our boat now. I, I work on George's boat two days a week. I got two girlfriends, and I'm in a band. You're a janitor in Quincy. What the hell do you care where you live? Moonlight, Barry Jenkins. I messed up. I'm not fucked it all the way up. I know that. But your heart ain't gotta be back like mine, baby. I love you, Sharon. I, Daniel Blake, Paul Laverty. It's not the new. No, it's not the new. Just give me a second, just give me a second. But it's just not moving. I mean, look, it's not even, it's not even moved. Let me try, right? Well, here, yeah, get that. This is driving me mental. I mean, what have I done now? It's frozen. It's frozen? Yeah. Wait, wait, can you defrost it? No, I mean, I can't. Turn your times up. What? Hello, high water. Taylor Sheridan. Do you have a reservation? We do not. Good Lord, look at you. We'll be obliged if you provide accommodations that we failed to call ahead. Boy, you are trouble. Oh, uh, the worst kind, Marilyn. In your last days in the nursing home, you'll think of me and give. <laughs> and the BAFTA goes to Kenneth Lonergan, Manchester by the Sea. <laughs> This is genuinely overwhelming. I never thought I'd be standing on the stage at the Albert Hall. Um, I just want to thank uh, everyone, really, everyone in the room. Uh, thank you, BAFTA. Thank you so much. Thank you, Studio Canal. Thank you, Sierra Affinity. Thank you, Amazon. I'm very proud to be here representing the nominees for uh, uh, original screenplay and also all the screenwriters who've had made wonderful films this year. A uh, screenwriter is in a unique position because a screenwriter alone understands the thrill of watching an actor become a character that you've only imagined. Um, my cast in Manchester by the Sea is amongst the finest cast I've ever worked with. It's amongst the finest cast I've ever seen in a film. Michelle and Casey and Lucas Hedges, I, I can't tell you what a thrill and an honor it is to have worked with you. Uh, if I may single out Casey for one of the most brilliant performances I've ever seen, I think I will. Um, I uh, also want to thank my producers, Kimberly Stewart, Matt Damon, Lauren Beck, and Chris Moore. Um, you know, we tried to make a film about looking, looking grief and sorrow in the face, and we found that when you do that, you will find love and duty coming along with it. Um, wherever in the world you find loss and sorrow, you find love and strength as well. Um, if I may indulge in a personal anecdote, the, night, the morning after the presidential election in the United States, my daughter woke up in tears. She didn't want to go to school. My wife insisted that she go. She said there are children in school who are probably frightened and perhaps you could help them. She went. She turned 15 two weeks ago. She's been to five protest demonstrations in that time. Uh, I'm very, very proud of her. I'm 
I'm very proud and grateful to my wife, Jay Smith Cameron. I love you very much. Nellie Lonergan, if you're watching this in New York, I love you too. Thank you all very much. <laughs> Now, to present the next award, which is for leading actor, over one and a half people signed a petition demanding a state visit from one of the finest actresses on the planet. And after very little debate, well, none, the Speaker of the House of Commons gladly issued the invitation, and she accepted. So please welcome the supremely gifted Penelope Cruz. Good evening. Here are the nominees for leading actor. Andrew Garfield, Hacksaw Ridge. I can't hear you. Mortensen, Captain Fantastic. To her, they were the most dangerous fairy tales ever invented, designed to elicit blind obedience and strike fear into the hearts of the innocent and the uninformed. To her, the only thing worse than death would have been the knowledge that her rotting flesh was to be trapped for all eternity inside a big box and buried in the middle of a fucking golf course. Casey Affleck, Manchester by the Sea. I am sleeping for Grandy out. She passed out downstairs. And, uh, and the furnace blew, and they couldn't go back in again. And that's all I remember. Jake Gyllenhaal, Nocturnal Animals. I want to know how you killed them. And I want to know if they knew what was happening to them. I want to know what they felt. I want to know if they aren't. Answer me. Answer me. Ryan Gosling, La La Land. I, I, think, I hear what you're saying, but I don't think you're saying what you mean. Yeah, I don't think you hear what I'm saying. You're fired. No, I mean, that's what you're saying, but it's not what you mean. What you mean is... You're fired. Play the set list. No, I'm saying it's too late. It's a warning. What, what planet are you from? Don't you're fire done. me. I'm sorry, Seth. It's Christmas. Yeah, I see the decorations. Good luck in the new year. And the BAFTA goes to Casey Affleck. Very different uh, from here. Uh, my heart is beating. What an ex exciting moment! Um, these clips that we see uh, of play of the actors are always such um, moments of, of heightened emotion, and uh, I think that's so often celebrated. Um, I think it's because they are the hardest to understand uh, in our lives, and um, the reason that I act is uh, I. Uh, it's because when I was a, a young kid, um, my mother would take me to the uh, Al-Anon meetings for, for uh, children of alcoholics, and there would be lots of kids there, and they would reenact uh, the person at their home who they were trying to uh, understand. Um, and uh, it was therapy, but it was acting, and it was, um, and acting has sort of been that for me ever since. Um, and it's a privilege to get to do it. Uh, uh, for a living. Um, so if you're wondering, that's why I act. <laughs> um, uh, that said, if I had an ounce of the talent that the cellist had or these composers or animators or the acrobats that we saw earlier uh, have, I would probably be doing that. Um, so, uh, but the reason I'm, I'm here right now tonight is because of um, Kenneth Lonergan and his sublime 
screenplay um, that really dignifies I think, the um, everyday lives and their struggles and uh, with with great compassion and um, I will never be able to express my gratitude to him um, and I accept this uh, as a representative for the entire cast Michelle and Lucas and uh, and Kyle because that's really how it works we're all together um, it's, it's an honor I'll never forget thank you to the Academy thank you very much thank you Mary Bucks ma'am Patrick Whitesell, Boomer, uh, everyone else, thank you so much. So gliding on now with all the grace of a generously moisturized kipper, we come to the award for director in honor of David Lean and to enlighten you as to the recipient, a giant of the acting profession. In fact, a big friendly giant. Actually, he's a big, friendly, prodigiously talented, much-loved, recently knighted giant, or B-F-P-T-M-L-R-K-G. Please welcome the utterly untouchable Mark Rylance. Good evening. Of course, all of our work in film, whether you're an actor, a writer, a designer, a producer, whatever you do, all that work is channeled and communicated to the audience through the consciousness of the director. They have the interesting job of holding the audience in their mind and in their heart. They must ask the question, what does an audience need to know? What do they need to feel? How do they need to know that? How do they need to feel it? And perhaps most interesting, interestingly, when do they need to know it? When do they need to feel it? I don't know how you feel these days, but in, I certainly feel that so many stories in society that I took for granted are being challenged. Stories I learned from my grandparents, my parents, such as be kind to strangers, love other people more than yourself. Stories I learned from films, like It's a Wonderful Life that people are more important than money, and that love is the greatest thing you can experience and is priceless. In a time that these stories are being challenged, I can think of no time that a film director is more needed and more important in society. These five directors have made wonderful films and have been nominated tonight for a BAFTA. Let's look at their work. Denis Villeneuve, Arrival. What does it say? Offer weapon. Ken Loach, I, Daniel Blake. It's a monumental force, isn't it? You're sitting there with your friendly name tag on your chest, and opposite a sick man looking for non-existent jobs that I can't take anyway. Wasting my time, the employer's time, your time. And all it does is humiliate me, grind me down. I was at the point to get my name off those computers. Kenneth Lonergan, Manchester by the Sea. Ford, Nocturnal Animals. How do you give up on becoming an artist? Because I'm too cynical to be an artist. I think that to be really, really good, you have to come from some place inside that I'm just not sure I have. You underestimate yourself. Do you know that? Damien Chazelle, La La Land.
and the BAFTA goes to Damien Chazelle. Um, thank you so, uh, so much. Thank you to the Academy. Um, uh, this is an incredible honor. One of, the, uh, one of the biggest pleasures to actually being here tonight is being able to uh, be with and sit with so many of the people I made the movie with. Um, uh, Tom Cross, Lena Sangren, uh, Mary Zoffries, David Wasco, Emma Stone, um, my producers, Fred, Jordan, Mark. Uh, it's just an honor uh, to even kind of have gotten to make a movie with you and now to get to uh, um, celebrate this with you. I also want to give a special shout out to my uh, friend, former roommate, uh, collaborator of I think 12 plus years, Justin Hurwitz, for, um, for inspiring me and inspiring all of us uh, with the most beautiful music I could have imagined. Um, I want to thank Lionsgate, Lionsgate UK, uh, for all your work. And finally, I want to thank Olivia, where I don't see where, oh, there she is. <laughs> uh, Olivia, my love, thank you for inspiring me so much every day. Thank you so, so much. Well, the next award is made up of two parts, leading and actress. And in temporary charge of it, a sublime actor who recently smuggled a suitcase of fantastic beasts into America. In so doing, inadvertently released a little niffler. I'm sure many of tonight's nominees would have done as their awards category approached. <laughs> I give you the stupendous Eddie Redmayne. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it seems a pretty unenviable task to separate the extraordinary and deeply varied performances made by each of the exceptional women nominated in the leading actress category this evening. Uh, I am utterly thrilled that I don't have to make the choice. Uh, let us take a look. Meryl Streep, Florence Foster Jenkins. Death has been my constant companion for almost 50 years. I've lived day to day, never knowing if my body, if, if it will come or my mind, my, my reason, desert me. But I've fought, and I've fought, and I've fought. And I'm still here. Amy Adams, Arrival. Believe it or not, I know something that's going to happen. I can't explain how I know, I just do. And when I told your daddy, he got really mad. And he said I made the wrong choice. Emma Stone, La La Land. The same thing happens every time, where I get interrupted because someone wants to get a sandwich, or I'm crying and they start laughing, or there's people sitting in the waiting room and they're, and they're like me, but prettier mm. and better at the, because maybe I'm not good enough. Natalie Portman, Jackie. You think you all control everything, that you have the world on puppet strings. And you're ridiculous. And I let myself believe it. Oh, this parade, who's it really for? For Jack? One more campaign stop along the way to the grave? Emily Blunt, the girl on the train. When I saw that woman kissing someone else, I, betraying her husband, I felt... And the BAFTA goes to Emma Stone for La La La. Oh, well done. Okay. Thanks, Rogers. Um, oh, wow. Thank you so much for this. This is 
an unbelievable honor. And um, at thank you, thank you to BAFTA. And at the risk of sounding a little redundant with Linus and Damien, the, one of the greatest parts about tonight is sitting with all of these incredible people that made this film. We became such a family. So thank you, Linus and Tom and David and Sandy and Mary and Justin and Mandy Moore and Jillian and Mike and the list goes on and on. Our producers, Fred, Jordan, Mark, um, and of course, Ryan, who elevates everything he touches, and Damien for this incredible opportunity. Thank you so much. This was one of the greatest working experiences of my life, and it was such a joy. Um, and I don't know if you realize this, but right now, uh, this country and the US and the world seems to be going through a bit of a time, just a bit, and uh, in a time that's so divisive, I think it's really special that we were all able to come together tonight, thanks to BAFTA, to celebrate the positive, the positive, um, I'm losing my words, I'm sorry this happens, uh, the positive gift of creativity and uh, how it can transcend borders and how it can help people to feel a little less alone. Um, I'm very grateful to be in this room. I feel very, very lucky, and thank you so much for this. This is, this is a huge honor. Thank you. And so to the award for best film, and to tell us where it will be residing, a delicious Swede and a mouth-watering Brit. They need no introduction other than this. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Numi Rapace and Tom Hiddleston. Good evening. Good evening. This room is filled with great, beautiful, brave artists who have collectively created unique, amazing, and breathtaking films. Films that connect us, that will put a stamp on history. In these times when hate, fear, and walls rise, our art form is more important than ever. And we are honored to be here tonight to recognize and celebrate the creative talent behind five truly outstanding pieces of work, all of which are nominated for Best Film. Let's take a look. La La Land. to stay by Daniel Blake Come on, this. I can't believe it I can't believe it man what have you done this is my new hobby should I put on my CV did you stop even for a second to think about the consequences of what you're doing here. All I know, mate, is if I didn't get my appeal date, I'll be here every day doing this. Manchester by the sea. Jesus Christ, what's your problem? I said open the door. Are you having a breakdown? Should we take you to no, the hospital? No, no, no. I'm just freaking out. OK, fine. I can't let you freak out with the door closed. And if you're going to freak out every hey. time that you see a frozen chicken, I think we should go to the hospital. I don't know anything about this. I just don't like it being in the freezer. You've expressed that very clearly. I don't like it either. There's nothing we can do about it. Moonlight. What's you, what's you looking at me like that for? What, man? Come on, you just drove down here? Yeah. Like you was just, you was just on one. And you hit the highway. Yeah. A 
arrival. BAFTA is awarded to La La, La, La Land. Land. Jordan Horowitz, Mark Platt, and I want to thank the Academy for this massive honor. Uh, it really does mean so much because we have such admiration for the British film community who challenges us and sets the bar to tell original and bold stories. So thank you. Um, and as Damien and Emma noted, the joy of tonight is sharing this with the extraordinary family of artists who poured their hearts out in this film every day, led, of course, by Emma and Ryan, who never flinched no matter what crazy stuff Damien threw their way. Um, thank you, guys. Um, above all, if you've seen this film, you know this belongs to Damien Chazelle, whose passion and uh, reckless ambition are surpassed only by his grace, humility, and generosity. We're so lucky to be on this really special journey with you, Damien. We love you. Thank you all. Um, I just want to uh, take a quick moment to, to congratulate and acknowledge everybody um, in this room. Uh, we spent a lot of time together over these past couple uh, months, weeks, uh, a lot of time. Um, and it has been truly a pleasure getting to know uh, many of you. Um, there's a lot of love in this community, and I think it's our responsibility uh, as artists and creators uh, to take that and harness it, um, to create work that inspires joy and hope and empathy and challenges people to dream, dream bigger uh, and bolder. Uh, <laughs> inspires people to drink. Uh, <laughs> inspires people to dream bigger and bolder and in technicolor. Um, I think film, um, uh, when it is at its best and most inspiring, reveals uh, the fundamental human truth um, that there is more tying us together than tearing us apart. And lastly, ladies and gentlemen, what we try to do and what all the films that you have honored tonight have tried to do is demonstrate the great power of art, the great power of artists, the great power of cinema that knows no boundaries, no borders. Our language is universal, our music is transcendent, and our passion is the glue that binds all of us together in our collective humanity. And we thank you and wish you a good night. Thank you. You might want this. Somebody should take that. Well, congratulations to Lala Land. And it's Time now for the highest honour that BAFTA can bestow, the Fellowship. To introduce it, um, I'm proud and pleased to ask to come on to this stage our President. Our President, please big it up for Prince Bill. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, BAFTA have sadly run out of actors, therefore I've been roped in. <laughs> as, uh, as president of BAFTA, it gives me enormous pleasure to present the fellowship. The fellowship is the biggest honor the Academy can bestow and is presented to an individual who has made an outstanding and exceptional contribution to film. The recipient of this year's fellowship is an extremely talented actor, comedian, filmmaker, composer and songwriter. To tell you more about his remarkable career, I'm pleased to introduce Simon Pegg and Nathan Lane. Thank you, Your Royal Highness. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor to be here to talk about a comedy genius. Oh gosh, Simon, that's very kind of you. 
But uh, I'm afraid there's only one comic genius being honored at the BAFTAs tonight, and that's the amazing Mr. Mel Brooks. <laughs> Legend, icon, innovator, and here's something you might not have heard, Jewish. <laughs> very, very Jewish. You think you know someone? Mel has won every award known to man, with the possible exception of the Latin Grammy. But I'm sure if he put his mind to it, he could salsa his way to that one too. A comic genius who has single-handedly raised flatulence to an art form. In some of the funniest films ever made, he has brilliantly spoofed show business, westerns, horror films, Hitchcock films, silent films, and even the Third Reich. This is the man that gave us singing and dancing Nazis. Scorsese doesn't even do that, okay? He gave us Hitler on ice, he gave us Hitler on dry land, he gave us Hitler on Broadway. He's definitely got a thing about Hitler. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't, right? And... <laughs> That's the thing about Hitler. They never tell you about the good stuff. True, they? true. Anyway, back to Mel. Um, this man has influenced generations of comedians and writers with his work on the television classic Your Show of Shows and his 2,000-year-old man recordings with Carl Reiner. And he invented penicillin. Yes! Penicillin, ladies and gentlemen. No. no. In his spare time. No, 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 no. That was Sir Alexander Fleming from Scotland. Oh, but could Sir Alexander Fleming do a spit take? <laughs> no. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure if we gave Mel a lab coat, test tubes, and the right chemicals, he could come up with something just as good as penicillin. Jewish penicillin, Jewish chicken pen soup. Absolutely. <laughs> Always work for me. Because there is a serious side to Mel, of course. Mel Brooks has been the producer for many wonderful films, such as The Elephant Man, Francis, The Fly, to name a few. He also went on to conquer Broadway in 2001 with his musical version of The Producers that won the most Tony Awards in theatrical history, a record that even Hamilton couldn't beat. Oh, bummer. Sorry, Hamilton. The producer's the musical. Oh, cheer up, folks. The producer's the musical. <laughs> it's like you've been in an award show all night. The producer's <laughs> the musical was a life-changing experience and one of the major high points of my career. Thank you, Mel, for giving me the opportunity to play the one and only Max Bialystok and for being such a great collaborator and loving friend. For me, it was a 16 millimeter print of young Frankenstein that my uncle Greg screamed one Christmas that made me a devoted Mel Brooks fan at the age of nine. Years later, when co-writing my own comedy horror, it was Young Frankenstein that resonated as the key inspiration, a shining example of, a, of how a comedy can be deeply in love with the very thing that it's sending up. And now that Mel has himself finally reached the grand old age of 2000, <laughs> and I'm sure you'll all agree he doesn't look a day over 1,500, BAFTA are now honoring him with their fellowship. Let's remind ourselves of his remarkable and extraordinary career. What you are about to see next, we must enter quietly into the realm of genius. Let's go to work. Is this England? I have one question, Dr. Frankenstein. That's Frankenstein. Everybody got that? It's very fascinating. I'm afraid I'm going to have to hurt you. Oh, yeah. My pleasure. No! Fire in the oh, my God! Daddy loves Froggy. Froggy loves Daddy. Spring time for Hitler. A gay romp with Adolf and Eva at Berchtesgarten. Wow. Wow. Give my creation life! Oh, God, I feel like such a, such a... Coward. Yeah. You'll never know how much this project excites me. May I try one? Please do, sir. Thank you. Thank you. These things are defective. How can you feel that anyone here would betray you? You who we would follow even unto our death. Yes. Does everybody want soup? 
Welcome to the stage, Mel Brooks. I think oh, it's it's the BAFTA has I think BAFTA has made unbearingly good choices tonight, especially me. But I've I want to tell you it's um, to choose an American mighty nice of you, mighty nice. Um, I want to thank Harvey Weinstein for having nothing to do with this award tonight. <laughs> thanks, thanks for butting out. I want to apologize to the Duke and the Duchess and Prince Philip for the American Revolution. <laughs> we were young. Seriously, let me, let, let me confide a, a little truth that, that occurred l less than 40 hours ago. I went to the airport. They asked for my passport. I forgot it, <laughs> really. And uh, it wasn't because of, of, of old age or, you know, because I personally can tell you I've seen Stephen Fry make three appearances before the show began. I, I, I know it. And, and, and if, I, if I have any rewards for tonight, I would love to meet the girl in the blue dress that came down from the ceiling. And so I'm still, I'm, I'm still alive, yeah. But seriously, folks, uh, Having an American here is very moving. And getting this especial honor, having been, having been given to people like Hitchcock and Olivier, Pressburger and Powell, and, you know, champions and, and idols of, 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 of my life is a singular and august honor. And I am very grateful. This is one of the awards that you will not see on e eBay. I, e I promise you, eBay has all the others, but not this one. <laughs> not this one. Anyway, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's, a, it's, 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 it's been wonderful to be here. Thank you. Oh, by the way, the reason, oh, by the way, just a thought. The reason I forgot my passport is because I, I don't think of England, seriously, I don't think of this place as a foreign country. I just I think of it as like a, a vast Brooklyn that just speaks better. That's all. <laughs> anyway, bless you. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, we were here the night that Mel Brooks came to London to accept the BAFTA Fellowship. No one can ever take that away from us. Um, in closing, I, I was trying to think when looking at the many films that seemed to rise to the top this year and how pleasing there was such a spread of awards for them. Do they have anything in common? Um, do they seem to have some connection between them? And I could only see how different they all were. And then I remembered a story that uh, David Niven used to tell. Uh, it was about a dinner he was at with the playwright and screenwriter Charles MacArthur and Charlie Chaplin. And MacArthur said to Chaplin, he said, Charlie, I've, I've got this scene and I want a rather grand and pompous lady to slip on a banana skin. Can I get a laugh from such a hokey setup? Um, do I show the banana skin with the camera and then the lady and then a single and then do I show them together? How do I do it? it, it can you get a laugh from something like that? And Chaplin said, no, it's very simple. You show the lady walking along the street. You see the banana skin. You see the lady and the banana skin in the same shot. But then the lady steps over the banana skin and disappears down a manhole. <laughs> and I think that's the point about the films that really hold us. They defy expectation and formula. They surprise us. They step over the banana skin, down the manhole, and they take us with them. I can only end by quoting a great line from Mel Brooks. Drive me off this picture. Thank you. That's it from EE British Academy Film Awards. Thank you and good night. Thank you so much. Awards presented earlier. Makeup and hair. J. Roy Helland and Daniel Phillips of Florence Foster Jenkins. Thank you, Meryl. You keep coming up with interesting characters that are just so much fun to put together. Original music. Justin Hurwitz, La La La. Thank you to everybody who made the movie, and thanks to the Academy. And um, this is a very cool trophy, by the way. I really like it. It's beautiful. Costume design. Madeline Fontaine for Jackie. Thank you for all the talented people who supported and accompanied me in this adventure. And thank you, of course, to Natalie Portman, who gave life and grace to these costumes. Thank you. Sound. And the BAFTA is awarded to Arrival. Uh, the story of the sound of Arrival is a little bit to the, like the film being ended up being uh, an international collaboration. British short animation. A love story. Today is an amazing day. I hope it's life changing. <laughs> British short film. Home. Being British, our heart is love, our soul is compassion, and I think that we need that to be reflected within our government. So um, thank you for this. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Editing. John Gilbert, Hacksaw Ridge. <laughs> Unfortunately, John is not able to be here so we will ensure that he receives this award. Production design. Stuart Craig and Anna Pinnock, fantastic day. I'm proudly collecting this award on behalf of Stuart Craig, who unfortunately cannot be here. It's through the incredible devotion and hard work of so many talented people, this seemingly impossible was achieved. Documentary. 
And the BAFTA goes to 13th. Police violence, that isn't the problem in and of itself. It's reflection of a much larger, brutal system of racial and social control known as mass incarceration. My name is Lisa, and I had the incredible honor of working with the visionary director, Ava DuVernay, to produce 13th. Um, I'm, she's so heartbroken not to be here, but please know how important this specific award is to her and to all of us. Film not in the English language. And the BAFTA goes to Son of Saul. The Orc. I'd like to thank uh, the lead actor of the film, Geza Ruri, and, um, and it was a great opportunity to meet uh, the British public. Thank you very much, thank you. And thanks to the Academy, thank you. And cinematography. Linus Sandgren for La La Land. This is overwhelming and extremely uh, generous of you.